This is my award-winning Forlom costume I debuted at Sydney Ells Comic Con in 2019. Now these shoes actually are okay, but they're very old and they're a bit tight and they're too hard to put on when I'm getting dressed. So I bought these Kmart boots. They're about $35 and they're perfect for this project because they don't have any seams and they're just really, really simple and easy to work with. But you can use any shoe you like or you feel comfortable with for whatever project you might be working on. And because I've made quite a few of these pairs of shoes in the past, I've learned quite a bit on what's the best way to cut the shoe down. Now you can use this style for any old 3PO or any kind of droid really. Now because I've cut it down, I've got some layers that need to be bonded. So I'm just gonna use some super glue for that. And just my favorite setting spray. Next, I wanna just burn some of these edges so that they don't fray too much. So I'm just doing a quick test fit and just drawing a bit of a guideline so I know where I can build my details to uh, because anything above that line is not really necessary to be detailed at all. So these particular boots are actually vinyl, um, not leather, but leather shoes will work. You just have to clean them off with a bit of acetone. Just helps you to remove any wax or release agent that will prevent glue from sticking. And then I'm just using a second rinse off with some isopropyl alcohol just to ensure that they're perfectly clean. So next I'm just gonna cut the toe cap off because I want it to be a little bit more of a square look, like a chiseled toe. Um, so protocol droids like 3PO or Forlom, they don't have a rounded toe cap. They're just very square. So that's what I'm doing here. Just slicing off all the bits that I don't want and just shaping it as required. Now just to fill in that little toe area, I'm going to use a bit of EVA foam, which is just really simple. Just cut it just to kind of get it to the rough shape and basically just glue it in place. I'm just going to use super glue to glue these pieces in, but you can basically use whatever glue you like. I just prefer to use super glue because it's really, really quick. And with a bit of setting spray, I can just move on to the next part. It looks a little bit rough right now, but once I take my drum sander and clean it up a bit, it will be absolutely fine. So this stuff is called EPDM sponge. It's like a rubbery strip stuff, um, but it's really, really good if you're making stuff with EVA, like forelombs, legs, and torso has a lot of this stuff to style out the designs, um, but also for a shoe project like this, it's really, really simple and it just, it, it's really easy to glue on with super glue. So next I've got to chop off these big chunky heels because protocol droids don't have a heel on their shoe. And when I cut this off, I noticed that it was quite hollow. So I had to cover that gap. So all I did was just trim off the base layer of the heel and then just stick it back on. So there's still a bit of a heel, but nowhere near what um, it was before and you don't really notice it too much and this is why I love using super glue because once it's set in place I just use my setting spray and it's done so here's the two shoes already completed um, obviously there's some styling above that line which I wasn't going to bother with but next I need to just cut in some little details into the sole of the shoe so I just drew on some lines just to get the spacing. And then once I cut those in, I went back and put an extra cut in between the cuts just to have some finer detail. So next it's time to paint. I'm going to use industrial leak seal by Rust-Oleum. It's basically Plasti Dip, but it's a bit of a thicker product and it dries in a little bit more of a matte sort of sheen. So now it's time to add some color. Um, what I did initially was just sprayed on a bit of automotive acrylic silver. Um, it's a bit more of a flexible paint and it just works quite well with this kind of application. Um, then I just basically used a bit of water and some acrylic paints to just tone that silver down because I want it to be more dark metal colored. Uh, originally I used a acrylic charcoal paint and then I applied all my washes and my dirt and grime over the top. But you can see that I've been able to use washes to tone that silver down and make it really match the original shoe. 
So side by side, you can barely tell which one is which, but the one on the right obviously is the old one and the one on the left is the new one. So here's the old ones and presto, the new ones. And they look really, really good. They match the legs perfectly. I might do a little bit of extra highlighting just to kind of match that rust effect on the legs, but that's pretty much the project done. So I hope my video has inspired you for your next project and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.